Okay, in this video we're going to look at how to create a procedural triangular pattern we can use for coloring or uh, displacement as in this example. I'm going to create a uh, OSL map that controls uh, a subset of features as well. Um, yeah, so let's go here. Let's go here and see the colored version there. And uh, let's get right into it. <coughs> this is the full noodle. Um, we start out with the point object, sample a point. We're going to multiply it with a uh, float value of minus 0 0.12. We're going to subtract a vector. This is the X channel, this is the Y, this is the C. Since we're only interested in X and Y, we uh, leave out the third component. And you should note these numbers down. Implement them. After that is done, uh, we add a space transform uh, for uniform scale. Set that to uh, minus 0 0.04. Just exit the node like normal. We're going to scale the shape, whether it's stretched on X and Y, with a uh, measured uh, vector. This is the X, this is the Y. We are not using the C component, so uh, we leave that out. We scale that with the space transform. <coughs> we're going to take a fraction of the whole expression. And we're going to split that up into two channels, fraction X and fraction Y. So as you can see here, this is the RGB to float node set to the red channel. This is the RGB to float node set to G, cha uh, G channel and RGB to float, that's this one defaults to average, you go down here and pick them okay after that we're going to compare the uh, UVs within 0 and 1 and uh, we'll just take them from the top here um, the compare node, what's here, has a different has a drop down here with uh, different conditions, test test conditions. We're going to use the equals with and less than in this case. So we're going to compare. Um, uh, the first thing we're going to compare is uh, the fraction x is less than 0 0.5. So we input 0 0.5 in the input value 2 here. We could take a uh, float value. Let's actually do that um, like this. We call this one 0 0.5 um, and we inject that there. So that automatically overrides. I can do like this and it will always take this 0 0.5 until I dehook it. So um, I'll just reset this one for now. We're going to compare that with uh, a sub compare, which is uh, the complement of the green channel. That basically means um, uh, one minus input, whatever that input is. Um, and um, the 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 x channel up here so we're going to compare that with this one and we set it to equal and we have <coughs> this node here less than you can see it sources the fraction x and the complement that the uh, green channel here um, and we have this one, where fraction x is less than fraction y. 
we're going to compare those as well and we stick that into um, the final node where we collect everything and we compare all these sub com uh, comparisons um, and we just set it to uh, to equal here that's basically this one because we step we're stepping up we're adding things so we can actually compare quite a lot of things with this technique uh <coughs> um so i hope that is uh that is clear less than less than less than and this is the 0 0.5 uh float value all good all good and we're going to finally <coughs> construct a RGB uh, map from from this expression so you just source the um, the same map to the three channels and uh, you can add that to the base color or specular roughness or, or whatever whatever you like um you can add a, a range node you see here i have some arbitrary values <coughs> basically in this case the range node doesn't do a lot in this particular rig uh, but typically you can use it as a sort of a control board um, in this case it's actually only um, it's actually only um, uh, the uh, the output max that the, the pla displacement amount we are we are interested in and we can source that to a vector map uh, remember to set the tangent uh, to 1.0 so it points upwards and um, I think that's basically it <coughs> so um, so we have some uh, components we can uh, play with uh, we can try to to go down here change the UI a little bit like this <coughs> let me see here that was actually pretty scary that thing there that's because I didn't have any value in it there we go okay <coughs> so um, let's try and look at how to make some basic manipulations um, like um, the offset you can see here I can can offset it with uh, this vector I can change the internal proportions of the uh, of the tiles squeeze them and make them thinner and longer um, so this is basically a, a tile effect uh, 6.7 <coughs> and then we have the scale down here uh, so we actually have three uh, components that would be practical to have in uh, a single user interface and I actually built a, a small control board um, let's go in here and look at this Um, so this is an OSL node you can see here I made uh, three inputs scale offset pinch scale out s offset out and pinch out and if we take a look at the map itself <coughs> um, I created a shader called control board and put that a parenthesis around my inputs and outputs so I have a float called scale 
set to one. Uh, vector offset. I'm putting one here, but actually the proper way to do it is one uh, point zero, one point zero like this. But also knows that this integer means that it's one point zero on all spaces. Let's try and compile it. It says compilation. Okay. Uh, we output the float, we output the vector, and we output another vector here. Offset out and pinch out. So you can see here the. Um, oh, let me see here. Like this. We're going to go like this. <coughs> you can see uh, the UI on the shader uh, is uh, populated um, with my um, inputs and outputs over here. And down here it's worth to mention that throughout the, uh, the shader that we built, there are some peculiar values that often happens. You have some some strange values here and there when you sit and play around and find things work and stuff. And remembering those are uh, often difficult or hard or makes you confused when you sit and play with it. So you can use a um, an OSL node as I described. As we generate the inputs and the outputs here, and uh, we're going to scale. Um, in this case, this is the scale up. We're going to scale, pre-scale with minus 0 0.04 because that is what this node gives us, or what we initially set in the UI that this is the value that we want. <coughs> um, so we are going to pre-scale it, and we're going to multiply it with the scale, but since the scale is 1, it will s initially start out with looking like this, and we can then scale it with the uh, OSL board. So, um, <coughs> um, so we should be able to do like this. Check. Yes, the scale says 1 down here. We can see nothing happened on the uh, on the tiles because it's now not using this minus uh, 0 0.04. It's using minus 0 0.04 times scale up, and we have an entry up here called scale, and that's down in the UI here. So if I I go like go like this, we should be able to see that it scales, it does. Um, you can see it scales over here. So now the scale is, is hooked up. <coughs> we can uh, then go to, <coughs> sorry, to the offset vector. That was minus some arbitrary number, minus some arbitrary number, and zero. So I actually did the same thing in the uh, OSL control board um, on the um, uh, on this particular feature, the um, tiling. <coughs> we uh, went in here and we made an output called offset out. It's a vector. It's a vector with these two channels. If you look here, this is actually, if I'm going to do like this, maybe this is easier to see. There's a comma there. I can actually go like this to make it even more oh, easy to understand, like this. <coughs> Um, so I'm going to send out a, a, a vector that's basically stealing the info from 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 this sh this uh, this shader here, sub shader, RGB to 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 vector. We're going to steal the info there. 
implemented in the output so it's all we're always already sending out this particular number and we time it with offset and the offset is what we see in the in the user interface on the OSL node so while the internals look like random numbers the UI will give us a nice set uh, a preset uh, value we can we can work with simplify things so with that said we should be able to hook up this um, this offset out and uh, if we move this one we should be able to offset it we can offset it like you can see here and here so these are obviously x y and we have a third component we would be over here okay <coughs> so the last thing we want to check uh, is the um, the um, the actual uh, dimensions of the triangle and we use a vector up here for 6.7 that gives this uh, uniform triangle um, and um, in the associator we call this pinch out again set to 1 1 pinch pinch is a vector and pinch out we find down here we implement the vector uh from the uh, Arnold node uh, 4.0 and 6.7 and 0, 0.0 we take that and we uh, multiply it with the pinch and the pinch sits up here it's a vector with one in all values and in all fields x1 c so on and and this way we should be able to um I did not connect it yet so uh, maybe I should just do that before it's working pinch there so now this OSL node <coughs> now controls a couple of things um, we can scale the bits we can offset it and we can uh, pinch and stretch it just like we want so while this isn't a uh, spectacular uh, shader um, it should uh, show some uh, interesting uh, pos possibilities when working with uh, Arnold and and, and OSO uh, um, you can see we can do quite a lot of things with the core nodes and with a little, with a little help from uh, from OSL we can generate a small control board <coughs> control board um, and um, yeah and one thing to note final remark uh, we can actually also um, just use a um, an OSL UV transform node directly and bypass this whole kit down here uh, and use a single node and rotate the um, the procedure and offset it and tile it scale it <coughs> directly without need without the need to 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 implement uh, a small uh, small rig down here so um, yeah that's it um, the main things I would say in this video lies in the um, compare node we're going to compare the UVs uh, within certain um, uh, ranges so um, yeah that's it for now have fun <laughs>